Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to E46 channel. Today we're gonna be working on the drive shaft or the U-joint. And since the BMW has made them to not be replaced, but you have to change the whole uh, shaft, front and rear. Now we're gonna do some adjustments, some changes to make them last longer. And since we have a squeak, uh, to fix this problem in our case and to do that we're gonna need a few tools we for sure gonna have to jack the car up using four jack stands and using the big red uh, Torin uh, jack to jack the car up And the sign that you got to be looking for if your uh, new joint is going bad is this uh, orange they call, they say it's uh, rust, it's not orange, it comes because the grease, this car is at 2005 so it's uh, uh, 13 years old car and uh, so they, they go bad they are supposed to not go but it happens that they go bad especially here where I live in Canada we get a lot of salt a lot of snow and it cause uh, failure like premature failure to the components and this is one of them so adding some extra uh, some uh, grease inside there because there is no other way of fixing this problem other than replacing the whole shaft which is ridiculous in any other uh, car you can just replace the u-joint and it's pretty easy to do in this car the u-joint goes bad you got to replace the whole shaft which is ridiculous uh, anyways BMW makes the shaft staked as you guys can see there uh, there is no ring like I'm gonna put some pictures on the video there to show you what I mean by rings usually they go uh, on the edges around the cup here on the outer there are channels uh, inside the shaft uh, here and you snap it in place and it protects the uh, it protects it actually prevents the cup from falling out and losing the grease and uh, causing the uh, u-joint to fail and there is no either inner one is you can see from there and that's why we are gonna be drilling uh, holes on the cup right there uh, and then installing the grease fitting on this side on this side that side and the other side so in all four sides because the shaft is balanced and if you just put fittings in yeah the grease fitting in just one side you're gonna throw off the balance so if you do this you got to put the same amount of weight in this side and all the other three sides it is gonna extend the life of the uh, increase the life of the u-joint to determine 
which uh, drill bit to use first we need to get the caliper gauge and then the grease feeding and it will go like this okay and that is two, three, three millimeter that is four millimeter so uh, you have to go with a smaller drill bit around 3 or 3.5 millimeter because don't forget you have threads on the grease feeding and if you drill the hole the exact size of the grease feeding that's that's a problem because uh, there is no uh, no place where the threads can hold to okay, and this one is uh, two, three millimeter so that is perfect put the magnets around here it is gonna help a lot with the shavings uh, it would have been way easier to get the shaft out from here uh, and it's only actually four bolts that holds it in this side and four on the other side so eight in total and would have made this job way easier but I'll try it this way and see if it's gonna work if, it, if not then uh, uh, I'll probably take it out There, I'll uh, change the bit to a smaller size. Well, I might as well take the shaft out. make things easier it looks like an impossible mission to drill the hole from here I'm going to remove the shaft and uh, if you have the car jacked up uh, make sure you block the wheels because it is not uh, it's very hard to loosen the Before you remove it, mark where uh, the previous or the original position was. Since I mentioned earlier that the shaft is balanced, you don't want to misplace that because you're gonna throw off the balance. Right out with crowbar or a chisel, whatever. Okay, and then wiggle. There it is. You can see the problem, guys. So up to here, and then it's stuck. This side is pretty good, but this one, okay, wait. So I'm going to focus more on this side. No, nothing happens. Uh, this is ridiculous. It's impossible to drill holes here. Looks like BMW got this cover too. I don't know what 
material is this is made out of but it's been five minutes that I keep drilling and nothing not even a tiny bit I'm gonna start using titanium drill bit see result still wow what just happened here the U joint is out I am going to grease every single piece of this U joint because on this part like this section here is good I don't feel anything it's no noise no grinding grinding nothing but this one was stuck now that I have this apart there are some let me okay it's a good idea to clean it so now that this is apart uh, you can see bites or the edges that it has uh, it has created from being stuck so yeah that definitely need to be changed it wasn't just uh, the noise like I thought on my it is it was going bad it was gonna come to a point like very very soon probably within a month it was gonna come to a point where I was gonna get vibration in my car but uh, I really hope I, I can find a U-joint uh, with the same parameters like this one. I'm gonna be cleaning uh, everything really good and then grease it up and then put all these uh, small things once I clean them really good, I'm gonna put this back in, throw some grease in there. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work pretty good for a while. So I'll do this first and very shortly after, maybe tomorrow, maybe... <laughs> we'll see how this goes first. If this will be fine, then probably in a month or so, and I won't be in a rush to replace it. When I was hitting these two sides, the plan was to destroy it and take it apart and see and get the measurements and so I was gonna go and see if I could find one for this if not then I was gonna buy the whole shaft but at this point I am going to replace the U-joint okay. so you guys can see can see the uh, edges that it has created from the fact that it was stuck anyway so I'll show you the other side now uh, that's okay. that's how bad it was This is how it looks so far. Same thing on the other side.
So guys Wow <laughs> That's a real improvement Okay At this step uh, We really need to be careful with how deep the cup goes So uh, It doesn't throw off the balance like it's perfectly center place uh, so these are not the ones that uh, I was working on it is this one here which is it comes from the shaft itself there so there you can see how deep this side is I'll rotate it to the other side and it's perfect and there are the scratches the marks from the factory where it was so there it is wow now that i know this cups come off i am going to replace just the u-joint not the shaft anymore <laughs> so excited about it look at that oh man no squeaking anymore looks good let's go and put it back in I planned on installing the grease fittings didn't work uh, probably I needed uh, different uh, drill bits anyways it worked this way uh, we'll see how this is gonna go I'm gonna go for a drive and uh, we'll see how that's gonna work and if it's okay I'm probably gonna order one online instead of buying one around here it's cheaper or find something OEM and anyways thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and uh, please consider subscribing for more videos like this